the the the, the Bitcoin Policy Institute, they have a couple heavy hitters in there. There's Gladstein, there's Ian Gaines, there's yourself. And I, you know, I'm just going to entrust and just hope that, you know, the people that work for that company, the, the communities that are involved, just, you know, use it to their advantage and kind of just educate. Like you said, it's all about educating them. This is a long-term process. This isn't going to happen overnight. And I think that as you see the ebb and flow of the price, I find that when it's an all-time high, everyone's really interested in Bitcoin. They want to know everything about it. And I think those are the times when they're going to start to look at policy and they're going to start to look at the pieces that you write and climate change and energy reduction and the FUD. So, you know, I think that that question is kind of like my take on where do you see it going in 5, 10, 15 years? And you said you don't know. It could go really bad. But depending on what you do in policy now, it could really affect the future. So, you know, we're grateful to have someone like you in that corporation and that nonprofit to really help change the world and fix the way that we look at Bitcoin and energy reduction. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you know, people like what like one of the driving concerns that pushes these policymakers to make these really bad laws or bills is this the this bad idea that Bitcoin is just going to consume all of the world's energy and it's going to push the the planet towards two degrees Celsius warming all on its own, which has been totally debunked within the publications themselves, like the actual academic publication where that claim was made. And if you just look at the hash rate right now, you'll see that there's been a little drop in the hash rate because the price of Bitcoin went down. So when people say like Bitcoin's not constrained in any way, its value is not constrained, its energy use is not constrained, it's like actually prime example. When the price of Bitcoin went down, the hash rate collapsed a little bit. There was pressure on the miners. So Bitcoin is constrained. And also like look at Texas, when the mining companies had to turn off during that heat wave, they did. The prices were really high depending on how they were operating. Either they were operating in the demand response program where they had already committed to, to come down, come offline at a certain point, or they were just being price sensitive and they shut down because the price was too high. You know, they still went offline. And that means that they were energy constrained. Right. So this there are physical constraints and there are value constraints on Bitcoin. And that's that's my that's like part of my whole thing about the degrowth stuff. It's like if you really want a sustainable society and you want an economic system that isn't going to outgrow your your planet's uh, constraints in terms of, the, you know, what it what is sustainable what you know what are the 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 limits to the resources on your planet you know you need a monetary system that can respond that way that directly responds to the demands and the limits of of our environment and our energy use so that you know these are these are the things that make bitcoin really good for the environment and if policymakers and and people who didn't like Bitcoin could see that, you know, I think they would change their tune a little bit. And it's my hope that through our work at, at BPI and and hopefully, you know, we have a policy director now, Jason Brett. He's really awesome. He has a lot of experience. He was a regulator and I think an FDIC regulator during the financial crisis. So he has a lot of experience dealing with, with policy and stuff. So I'm hoping that we can make really good use of this bear market, like you said, and and reach out to policymakers and educate them. And hopefully, while they're you know not really paying attention because the price is crashing, you know, that we can make we can change some minds.